Good day and happy Friday. Welcome to Mission Control Houston. Uh, here in the flight control room, uh, Jerry Jason is the flight director in charge of the team uh, with uh, Hal Getzelman, the spacecraft communicator, talking with the crew uh, as it uh, maneuvers its way through an emergency drill, one of the routine drills we use to keep the crew on its toes and ready for anything on board the space station. This has been a very busy and productive work week for the crew on board the International Space Station. Uh, the crew worked with a variety of different experiments and prepared for the departure of a commercial cargo craft, as well as the arrival of three more crew members next week. NASA's Tom Marshburn spent uh, part of several days setting up the Marangoni Inside Experiment in the Destiny Laboratory. Uh, Marangoni uh, is a convection experiment that looks at uh, flows driven by the presence of surface tension gradients that can be produced uh, by uh, temperature differences in the liquid gas interface. Uh, the convection uh, in the liquid bridge of a silicon oil is generated by heating one disk higher than the other, and then the scientists observe flow patterns of the fluids the positions and temperatures uh, could be independently controlled, and eventually this could help us uh, learn more about how heat is transferred in microgravity. Marshburn also worked in the Columbus Laboratory to prepare for the first run of the seedling growth experiment. That experiment looks at how plants grow in space, and the images of the plants are going to be captured and downlinked to Earth, and samples of the plants will later be harvested and brought back to Earth for scientific analysis. It could help researchers with food production studies uh, for long-duration space missions of the future, as well as to help crop production on Earth. He also worked with the Advanced Colloids Experiment, uh, which looks at removing gravitational jamming and sedimentation, so it's possible to observe how order arises out of chaos in these liquid-solid mixtures that are like milk or paint. Canadian Commander Chris Hadfield this week spent a portion of several days working on the coarsening in solid liquid mixtures experiment. Uh, experiment looks at how uh, uh, dendrites form in alloyed metal materials and is looking at making stronger, better, lighter materials for use both in space and on the ground in things like engines and uh, structures. He also worked with uh, changing out samples in the commercial generic processing apparatus that looks at protein crystal growth. And Hatfield also uh, reinstalled the amine swing bed. That's a technology demonstrator that examines whether a vacuum-generated amine system can effectively remove carbon dioxide from the space station's atmosphere using smaller, more efficient regeneration techniques. Roman Romanenko uh, worked on two Russian experiments for Matryoshka and Raksaikaya. Matryoshka looks at radiation levels throughout the space station complex. He also uh, worked to transfer uh, items into a couple of different uh, spacecraft and did uh, maintenance work inside the Russian modules of the station. Today, the entire crew is conducting an onboard emergency training drill using tablet computers and will conduct a debrief with the ground team afterward. Throughout the week, the crew has uh, worked on and finished all of the early packing for the upcoming departure of the Dragon spacecraft, which will be carrying important scientific samples back to Earth for analysis. Uh, the uh, final research samples uh, will be loaded into Dragon just before the hatches are closed. Uh, the current plan is uh, to unberth the Harmony, uh, the spacecraft from the Harmony module uh, on Monday, uh, and they'll be closing the hatches on Sunday, according to that plan. Uh, preparations uh, are headed for a 3.20 a.m. Central Time Monday with an unberthing uh, beginning at 4.05 a.m. Central Time and then a release plan for 6.49 a.m. Central Time. Splashdown is scheduled to be off the Baja coast in California uh, about 20 minutes after noon on Monday, but mission managers and SpaceX experts are watching the weather in the recovery area carefully. NASA TV live coverage of the Dragon departure would begin at 4 a.m. Central Time on Monday. Wednesday night, Mission Control Moscow uh, directed a slight increase in the space station's orbital altitude to adjust phasing for the arrival of three more crew members. Pavel Vinogradov, Alexander Mazurkin, and NASA's Chris Cassidy are scheduled to launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at 3.43 p.m. Central Time next Thursday and then dock with the space station about six hours later. This will be the first single orbit rendezvous for a human crew, although we've tested that technique in progress unmanned vehicles. The crew in uh, Baikonur is making its final review of, of preparation for that launch and looking forward to a Thursday liftoff from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Over the weekend, the crew is going to have some time off on Saturday and then be busy with Dragon preparations. But again, it has been a very productive week on the International Space Station. This is Mission Control Houston.